Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WooCommerce tutorial, you're going to learn how to sell Amazon products directly from your own WooCommerce store. Now, you can do this from the store, or you can do it from a blog page. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you both methods. So if this sounds good, keep watching. Now, you probably already know that Amazon is probably one of the biggest online retailers in the world now. Um, you can make money by linking to their products and every sale that occurs through your link, you'll get a small percentage of the sale. This is called uh, affiliate linking and it's done through the Amazon Associates program. This method is extremely popular and it's also extremely easy. I'd probably say it's even easier than doing drop shipping and it's definitely easier than doing print on demand. Uh, I'll go through the steps with you in just a minute. For this example, we're going to pretend to be selling the Sony A6500 camera. So this is a great camera for um, video blogging or uh, basic pro photography. So if you were doing food photography or product shots, this would be a nice one to use. So we're going to be selling this straight through Amazon. If you click on the buy product link on your WooCommerce product, it'll take you to where you can buy it on Amazon. Very simple to set up. This method, like I was saying, it's extremely popular and widespread. So if you Google a Sony A6500 review, all the top results are basically going to be uh, affiliate linking blogs. So for this one, say shotkit.com, they've got a 6500 review. And the first link here is an Amazon link. So you can see extremely popular way of doing things. A very easy way to make a small commission. The profit margin is probably just as good as doing drop shipping, and you don't have to handle customer support. You don't have to handle any inventory. It's all handled by Amazon. All you do is refer the customers. So out of all the methods that I've shown so far on this channel, I'd say this one is the most passive uh, in terms of how much work you have to do after you've created your content. So to get started, just Google for Amazon affiliate signup and click the first thing that's called amazon.com associates. You'll get taken to this page where you join now for free. This is really, really easy to do. All you do is um, create an Amazon account or sign in if you've already got an Amazon account. You probably already have an Amazon account if you're watching this. Um, creating the account is just name, email and password. Very simple. You'll have to verify it through your email. You'll get a code that you type in. That's all very simple. Um, once you've signed in, you'll have to set up an account. So name, address, um, phone number and address. That's all pretty straightforward. Your next step, you'll have to identify the websites that you're going to be advertising on. So I'm, I'm just using the demo idea spot site for today. Um, you'll end up with your list and you have to confirm that none of this is directed at children because uh, the new laws... You can't target advertising towards children. So um, stay away from any uh, niches that are directed towards kids. I wouldn't bother trying to sell toys or children's games and things. Uh, stick to uh, products that are aimed at adults. Um, the next part of the sign up will be just putting in the details about your store ID. Just choose something um, snappy that matches what you're doing. I'm going to call it idea site for my store ID. Um, your website list will pop up there. It'll just say a little bit about your um, products and the background information behind your blog. So just categories and um, what sort of things you'd like to be selling. So just fill all that out as best you can. Um, you're probably going to choose blog and you're probably going to choose content and niche website for what type of your websites. And uh, you could probably leave these blank. If you're selling other things or doing other online retail on your website, just make sure you mention it there. Um, we usually build links through the blog editor and our traffic. You usually start out with low traffic and then build that up later. And the pri primary reason for joining is to monetize the site. Um, you could choose other if you wanted to. And then how did you hear about us? That's pretty straightforward. Put in the capture code and then you'll be all the way. So you'll get... Um, a confirmation screen there and you'll move on to the um, control center. So in your account, you'll have to set up tax and payment information. Now this is, is not too hard. Now from here, you'll just need to set up your payment method and the tax information. So the um, payment method, if you're in the United States, you can get paid by direct deposit. And there's a lot of other countries where you can get paid by 
direct deposit. So that's the recommended method. If not, you can get paid by gift card or if all else fails, you can get paid by a check. You need $100 minimum to get paid by check, but um, go ahead and fill that out. Um, the tax, I'd just set that up as an individual. If you're in the US, it's a yes. If not, it's a no. Um, this is probably a no and just name, citizenship, address, and put in your um, tax identification number. So in Australia, we call that a tax file number. Um, in the US, it's a tax identification number, but whatever your country uses, pop that in there, and that's all there is to it. For our next step, now we're in. So now we can start adding products. So the first thing you can do is set up product linking. So product links is the first option. Um, this is a really direct way of doing things. So if I'd go ahead and type in um, Sony A6500, hit go. And then the first one is usually the recommended Amazon link for the Sony A6500. So I'd click get link. I'd just drop that down there and grab this link for your blog. So you could shorten that with um, amazon.to, which is nice. It makes it nice and clean if you want to share that on social media, maybe. Um, doesn't really matter how you share it, but I'm going to head, go ahead and copy that. I'm going to put it into a blog post. So now I'm in the WordPress dashboard. I'm just under post and I'm setting up a new post. I'm just calling this the Sony A6500, the best for blogging. And just, I wrote a little test post with a picture, a few of the specs. And this is where you put your link that you got from Amazon. So you just, for this case, I'd used a button, um, put the Amazon link in there. So I just paste it in. I've already done it, obviously, but that's where you put your link if you were using a button. If you wanted to link it from text, you could just, uh, you could link it like this. Choose some text, hit link, and pop that link in like that. And in both cases, it will send your reader straight to Amazon. So if I have a look at my post, um, that links to the Amazon store, which is where you can buy the camera. Also, the button does the same thing directly links to the product. So if the user goes ahead and buys that or buys something similar um, within a certain time frame, then you'll get a small percentage. Now, the second way you can use that Amazon link is to use it to, for a product. So um, I'm in my WordPress dashboard under products, all products, you can add a new product. I'm calling this the Sony A6500 camera, put in a little bit of a description. And this is called a external affiliate product. So usually we use simple products in, um, WooCommerce, but in this case, we use an affiliate product. And so the product URL, this is where you paste in your Amazon link and hit update. And that will, instead of buying it through your checkout, you'll end up sending the customer to Amazon to buy the product. So it's a really nice, simple way of sending someone from the store straight to Amazon. Um, you can customize that button text. I'm just calling it buy product. Make sure you make a short description and most importantly, set up a featured image for your product. So now when I hit update, I can probably go ahead and view the product at the link that we've got there. And there we go. It's got our description. It's got our short description. And as we said, the link says buy product. If the user clicks the link, sends them straight to Amazon where you can get the commission if your readers buy the products. Now there's a couple other quick ways I really want to cover as well. You can use a search result link to link to a search for a keyword. So if someone searched for Sony A6500 in Amazon, you could actually link them straight to the search results. So this can be quite good if it's a competitive product where there's lots of different sellers and the prices are changing, people are having sales. You might want to link them to the search results rather than linking them directly to the product, um, particularly if that product isn't the cheapest one on the list at the moment. But um, in this case, we chose Amazon's choice, and that's usually the best one to link directly to. Otherwise, you could just link to the search results. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So from our Amazon Associates dashboard, we go to product linking and we go to link to any link to any page there. So um, in this case, you can link to favorite destinations, search results, any page or um, in this case, we're doing search results. So in this case, we'll go all products. We might actually change that to electronics, components, and home audio. So electronic components, Sony A6500, and my link will be called Sony A6500. And so we'll get the HTML. We can go ahead and copy that HTML and go and head to our blog. So back on our blog, let's just add a new block. 
And there we go. And we can just paste that in. And there is our link to the um, search results. So let's just update our post. We can view the post. And like I said, that will link the user straight to the search results. Now the user can go ahead and buy any of these things and you'll get an efficient um, affiliate commission off any of these products. Now the final way I want to cover is called native shopping ads. This is a really nice way of displaying um, dynamic updating prices and pitches. It looks really good on mobile, looks really good on desktop. Amazon handles all the coding for you. So um, it's a really nice way of getting your products to appear on the blog post. So I'll show you how to do that. So from our Amazon Associates dashboard, we go to product linking and we go to native shopping ads. So this um, introduces the native shopping ads. And I love the one called custom ads. There's a few different ways to do it. Um, they all look similar. There's custom ads, there's search ads, which will show um, the results of a search in this format. Uh, you could show recommended products where Amazon will sort of dynamically go through your post for keywords and then recommend products based on your post. That can be an interesting way of doing things, but I think the best way, because you know your content better than um, a robot knows the content, is to use the custom ads. And then you can choose exactly the products you want to recommend for your blog post. So to do this, let's go ahead and click custom ads and wait for that to load up. Now, this is where we just add in our products that we want. So I'm just gonna search for that for that Sony A6500 and hit go. And this will show all the recommended items. So we can go ahead and add that to your ad. And you need to search at least four products to generate the ad. So let's just go ahead and do that. We'll add that one, that one, and that one. And there we go. So we've got our ads for our camera. Now this is um, an ad I've already designed. I just said, um, here's the camera without the lens. Here's the camera comes with two lenses or here are the two recommended lenses. So we could write about, um, maybe you want to buy uh, the camera by itself or you want the two lenses included or maybe you just want the um, wide angle lens or you want the telephoto lens. Uh, you could discuss that in your blog and then post that there. That'd be a nice way of, of selling the camera and the lenses. So to get this onto your blog page, all you do is um, highlight the code, copy the code and go back to your blog editor. So back in our blog editor, let's just add a new block. Now we're gonna to wanna to use HTML to do this. So custom HTML is right there. You can also just search for it, uh, typing in HTML and then just paste your HTML in like that. You could hit preview now and it should load up your ad. There it goes. Go ahead, hit update, and we should have a new post with our custom ad there. So the user could buy any of these things straight from your website in this way. Um, I actually kind of like this method. It looks more organic. It looks like uh, I recommend this and here's my little button. This looks a bit more like an ad. Um, you could try both, see which one works better for you. It depends on your content, I think. Um, but that's really all there is to it. This method of using Amazon affiliate links, it's probably the most user-friendly way of getting started into making money through a blog. Um, you can see it's really popular throughout the whole internet. And there's a reason for that. It really does work. So have a go. You can set it up in, in a single afternoon without a lot of trouble. Um, if you've already got a blog that has a good amount of traffic, you can probably start making money even straight away. So um, let me know if that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'll be back with more WordPress videos next time. So thanks and I'll see you later.